What is ignition system? Types of ignition system. Components of battery ignition system. Working of ignition system. Frequently asked questions. What is ignition system? The ignition system's job is to ignite the air fuel mixture in a gasoline engine. In addition to the spark plugs that spark in the combustion chambers, the ignition system consists of an ignition coil, which converts battery voltage to higher voltage, and the spark plug wires that join these components. Types of ignition system Glow plug ignition system Glow plug ignition system is the oldest of all and is obsolete because of its many limitations. Glow plug ignition system has a problem of causing uncontrolled combustion due to the use of electrode as an ignition source, which is solved later after the introduction of magneto ignition system in which electrodes are replaced by spark plug. Unlike magneto ignition, glow plug produces high exhaust emission due to the incomplete combustion. Magneto ignition system It is the system introduced to overcome the limitations of old ignition systems, but it has its own limitations. It depends on the engine speed, so shows starting problem due to low speed at the starting of the engine, which is later solved with the introduction of battery coil ignition system in which battery becomes the energy source for the system. Expensive than electric coil ignition system. Wear and tear is more than battery coil ignition because of greater number of mechanical moving parts than battery coil system. Can cause misfire due to leakage. Magneto ignition system it is the system introduced to overcome the limitations of old ignition systems, but it has its own limitations it depends on the engine speed, so shows starting problem due to low speed at the starting of the engine, which is later solved with the introduction of battery coil ignition system in which battery becomes the energy source for the system. The magneto ignition system has the same principle of working like that of the battery ignition system. In this, no battery is required, as the magneto acts as its own generator. It consists of either rotating magnets in fixed coils, or rotating coils in fixed magnets. The current produced by the magneto is made to flow to the induction coil which works in the same as that of the battery ignition system. This high voltage current is then made to flow to the distributor which connects the sparking plugs in rotation depending upon the firing order of the engine. This type of ignition system is used small spark ignition engines for example scooters, motorcycles and small motorboat engines. Electronic coil ignition or battery ignition system. System is the latest of all above and is being used from long time due to its better efficiency and accuracy but it also shows some limitations. Less efficient with the high speed engines. High maintenance required due to mechanical and electrical wear of the contact breaker points. Since in the modern automobile new technologies are introduced and it is found that use of sensors and electronic component gives more effective and accurate outputs than that of mechanical components. The use of sensors with electronic controlled unit becomes essential to fulfill the needs of modern high power and high speed automobiles or hyper series of automobiles to fulfill the need for high performance, high mileage and greater reliability has led to the development of electronic ignition system. Electronic Ignition System In internal combustion engine, combustion is a continuous cycle and occurs thousands time in a minute so an effective and accurate source of ignition is required. The idea of spark ignition came from a toy electric pistol that used electric spark to ignite a mixture of hydrogen and air to shoot a cork. Electronic Ignition System is the type of ignition system that uses electronic circuit, usually by transistors controlled by sensors to generate electric pulses which in turn generate better spark that can even burn the lean mixture and provide better economy and lower emission. Components of Battery Ignition System Battery It is a device which provides electrical energy for the ignition. The battery is charged by a dynamo driven by the engine. The lead acid battery is used in light duty commercial vehicles whereas alkaline battery is used in heavy duty commercial vehicles. Generally, two types of batteries are used in spark ignition engine, lead acid battery and alkaline battery. Ignition switch. The ignition switch is usually mounted on the steering column or dashboard and controls the flow of current between the battery and ignition system. It is a switch that is used to on or off ignition system. 
One end of the ignition switch is connected to the battery and the other with the primary winding through a ballast resistor. Ballast resistor. It is connected in series with the primary winding. It is present in between the ignition switch and ignition coil. The function of the ballast resistor is to prevent the overheating of the primary winding of the ignition coil. How it does this? The ballast resistor is made of iron wire and iron wire has a property that its electrical resistance increases rapidly with a small increase in temperature. If the current from the primary winding flows continuously, the temperature of the ballast resistor increases and this increases the electrical resistance and reduces the flow of electric current through the primary winding. The reduction of current by ballast resistor prevents the overheating of the primary winding. Ignition coil. It is used to produce high voltage sufficient to generate spark across the electrodes of the spark plug. It acts as a step transformer and converts a 6 or 12 V of a battery into a very high voltage of about 15,000 to 30,000 V. It consists of a soft iron core surrounded by two insulated coils, named as primary winding and secondary winding. The primary winding consists of 200 to 300 turns of 20 gauge wires capable of producing resistance of 1.15 ohm. The secondary winding consists of 21,000 turns of 38 to 40 gauge enameled wire and it is sufficiently insulated to withstand high voltage. One end of the primary winding is connected to the battery terminal through the ballast resistor and ignition switch. And another end is connected with the contact breaker as well as the secondary winding. In the case of secondary winding, it's one end ID connected to the central high tension terminal of the distributor. Another end is connected with the primary winding. Contact breaker. It is a mechanical device which is used for making and breaking of the primary circuit of the ignition coil. It has two metal points made up of tungsten and place against each other. These metal points have a circular flat face of about 3 mm diameter. Among the two metal points, one is fixed and the other is movable. The fixed contact point is being earthed by mounting it on the base of the contact breaker assembly. The movable contact point is attached to the spring-loaded pivoted arm which is electrically insulated. The pivoted arm generally has a heel or rounded part, cam follower, made up of some plastic material and attached in the middle of the arm. The heel is rest on the cam driven by the engine. Every time when the cam passes under heel, the contact points are forced apart and the circuit is broken. The pivoted arm is spring-loaded and in the case when the points are not separated by the cams, it is held together by the spring force and closes the primary circuit. When the points are closed, the current flows through the primary circuit and it stops if open. Spark plug. The spark plug is used to generate sparks to ignite the air-fuel mixture in the combustion chamber. Each spark plug is connected to the distributor of the ignition system. The HT current from the distributor passes down the central core of the spark plug, then produces a spark as it jumps the gap to the side electrode. This ignites the fuel-air mixture in the cylinder. Distributor It is a device used in the battery ignition system to distribute the ignition pulses, surges, to the individual spark plug in a correct sequence and at the correct instant in time. It also contains some other auxiliary units too. In the lower part of the housing, it has a speed-sensitive device or governor whose main function is to advance the spark with the increase in the engine speed. Contact breaker assembly is present above this, which can be rotated to adjust the timing of the spark. In the upper part of the housing, a high-tension distributor is located. It also carries the vacuum ignition governor which serves to retard the spark as the load on the engine increases. Each metallic segments of the distributor is connected to each spark plug. As the rotor rotates, the contact point opens, this allows the high tension current to pass to the spark plug through the segments to which the spark plug is connected. The sequence in which the spark plug is connected to the distributor cap depends upon the firing order of the engine. There is a two types of distributor. Brush type. In the brush type distributor, it contains carbon brush carried by the rotor arm slides over the metallic segments embedded in the distributor cap. Gap type. 
In this type of distributor, the rotor arm passes very close to the segments of the distributor cap but does not touch it. Working of ignition system. Working of battery ignition system. In the battery ignition system as the ignition switch is on, the current from the battery starts to flow through the primary circuit through ballast register, primary winding and contact breaker. The current flowing through the primary winding induces magnetic field around it. The more will be the current, the stronger will its magnetic field. As the contact breaker opens, the current through the primary winding collapse and this immediate collapse in the current induces a voltage of about 300 volts in the primary winding. This voltage induced in the winding charges the capacitor to the much greater voltage than the battery. As the capacitor charged, the current through the primary winding stops and the current starts to flow to the battery form the capacitor. This reverses the direction of current and magnetic field in the primary winding. Due to the collapsing and reversing of the current and magnetic field, a very high voltage of about 15,000 to 30,000 volts induced in the secondary winding. The high voltage current induced in the secondary winding is transferred to the distributor through a high tension cable. The distributor has a rotor that rotates inside the distributor cap. The distributor cap has metallic segments embedded into it. As the rotor rotates, it presses and opens the contact breaker point. This allows the high tension current to transfer to the spark plugs through the metallic segments. As the high tension current reaches the spark plug, it produces spark in the engine cylinder for the combustion of the air fuel mixture. Working of Electronic Ignition System To understand the working of the electronic ignition system let's consider above figure in which all the components mentioned above are connected in their working order. When the driver switch on the ignition switch in order to start a vehicle the current starts flowing from the battery through the ignition switch to the coil primary winding, which in turn starts the armature pickup coil to receive and send the voltage signals from the armature to the ignition module. When the tooth of the rotating reluctor comes in front of the pickup coil as shown in the fig the voltage signal from pickup coil is sent to the electronic module which in turn senses the signal and stops the current to flow from primary coil. When the tooth of the rotating reluctor goes away from the pickup coil, the change in voltage signal is sent by pickup coil to the ignition module and a timing circuit inside ignition module turns on the current flow. A magnetic field is generated in the ignition coil due to this continuous make and break of the circuit which induced an EMF in secondary winding which increases the voltage up to 50,000 volts. This high voltage is then sent to distributor, which has the rotating rotor and distributor points which is set according to the ignition timing. When the rotor comes in front of any of those distributor points the jumping of voltage through the air gap from the rotor to the distributor point takes place which is then sent to the adjacent spark plug terminal through the high tension cable and a voltage difference is generated between the central electrode and ground electrode which is responsible for generating a spark at the tip of the spark plug and finally the combustion takes place. Frequently asked questions. What is starting system? Starting system is one of the engine system which provides an engine start. The drive gear of the starter engages with it and does the rotating the crankshaft, initiating the duty cycle of the engine. A starter is a special device used to rotate crankshaft in internal combustion engine. What are the common problems with the ignition system? Faulty ignition coil, spark plug, or spark plug wires. These critical components of your ignition system keep your engine running smoothly. If they have a problem, you'll notice a rough ride, engine misfires, and possibly decreased gas mileage, along with in most cars, a check engine light for a misfire. What causes ignition failure? The most common cause of a system failure such as misfiring is a faulty, degraded, or dead spark plug. Ignition system failure occurs when the engine fails to ignite and burn the gas mixture fed into the intake. For whatever reason, Sparks are not made quickly enough to light the gas and turn the internal cylinders. What makes a coil hot? Your car's ignition coil may be getting hot because of excessive current flowing through it. This happens when the resistance in the spark plugs and wires is much lower than what is expected. As a result, there is voltage current overload on the ignition coil and it starts getting hot. How do you test an ignition switch? 
Put the ignition key into the ignition switch and crank the engine. If the engine cranks, then your ignition switch is obviously working fine. If the engine does not crank, and you hear a click when you first turn the key to the 3 position, then your ignition switch is not the problem. 